Okay, this is the second batch of chicks that we've hatched here. Um, we started with uh, three dozen eggs the first time and had a horrible hatch ratio of one out of six. Uh, I think it was the humidity was too high for one and uh, my partner was, she's blind, so she was curious about the the chicks and she, while they were still hatching, she opened the incubator and the humidity dropped drastically while they were uh, trying to hatch. They were, they had already uh, pipped in the shells and then the, the humidity dropped and uh, we lost pretty much so everything except for the, the first six from the previous batch. And they are currently with a family friend who owns a farm as well. Uh, but this three dozen, I maintained relatively low humidity throughout the entire incubation process, except right at the end uh, when I increased the humidity significantly to aid in hatching. And we ended up getting 23 chicks out of three dozen eggs. So I mean that's that's a pretty good ratio. We we almost had uh, two out of three right there. Um, we did lose one bird because uh, they had a birth deformity. Its legs were um, really messed up. It uh, wasn't splayed leg or crooked toe or anything that I recognized. It was actually something uh, or slip tendon or any, anything that I would, would have recognized. Uh, I did try to hobble it to see if that would help, but uh, the little guy just didn't make it. But that's it, or, well, or a little girl, I don't know. But uh, this batch, as you can see, they are happy and healthy. They're drinking, they're eating. Uh, we haven't gotten them to the point where they are eating out of our hands yet. Uh, but again, they, they only hatched out, I think that the hatch started Wednesday, it's, it's Saturday now, uh, it started at day 18, they actually started hatching out, and um, the hatch, I would say, we probably had our last one so far on day 21, I still have a few eggs in the incubator in case we have a, a laggy hatch, but uh, so far, all the chicks are doing pretty good. I've been making sure to check their bottoms so that they don't get uh, little taps over their cloacas. And these are Rhode Island Reds and uh, a Rhode Island Red Silver Lace Wine Dot Cross. Um, the the ones with the the obvious rose comb starting and uh, the wild type uh, patterning are the crosses from what I understand of the breeding and um, from since they, they are they do have the uh, the delayed feathering sex link um, we appear to have quite a few hens in this batch because uh, the uh, roos don't start feathering out nearly as early as the hens from what I've read and that trade is on both the uh, Silver Lace Wine Dots and the Rhode Island Reds. So, but they, they have been very good little babies. They're doing excellent. They've already gone through a whole mason jar of food in just a couple of days of life. Um, they've, been, they've all been drinking water that I'm aware of. And... Uh, I think the light might be just slightly too warm directly underneath for them because they usually sleep outside of the ring of light. But I'm going to leave it in here as is because it's going to get much, much colder this winter. And they are going to need that heat. And I am going to need to build a bigger brood or two. <laughs> but these are our new little chicky babies. <laughs> 